Okay, animation. So in Unity 4, they radically redesigned the animation system, and I haven't used it an amazing amount. Um, this is for generally skinned characters uh, and objects. So I should be able to find an example here. I've just loaded another scene. I'm going to load up um, accents and okay. It's not even working. Okay, well that's loading. I'll show you what happened. So so this so this game object, which is um, where is it? It's here, this hand object. So let's just open an explorer. It's this hand.fbx file. So these guys have done something good, which is to export it to FBX instead of just having it in Max. If I were to load that in Max, Animations corresponding to a mesh uses something called a controller. And the controller is essentially setting up a motion graph. You can't really, I, I can't zoom out here. The controller is setting up a motion graph. And these motion graphs refer to FBX files in general, um, which store animations. So I'm just going to actually show you what that file looks like in Max. I'm going to load this hand FBX file. I'm just going to import that. All right. Right. So you can see this mesh. There's a hand mesh, and it's a skinned mesh because we have a bone system within the mesh. So if I were to rotate these uh, joints within Max. You should hopefully see it distort. And then if I were to render this. OK, it doesn't have the textures. Let's try and ignore that. Um, so if I were to render that, you'll see that it's a skin mesh. Um, so any skin mesh is available for motion capture or uh, keyframed animation. If you store that as an FBX file, you'll then be able to load that within Unity. No thanks. And that will then be available within your motion graph. You can then define the states, the transition states between the motions. So for instance, we've got this idle loop. It can then it can go into various other um, motions, things like gripping and things like this. Each one of these files refers to one of these, um, one of these animations. So uh, let me just load this. Okay. So there we go. So this is just this is just a keyframed animation within Max that's been imported straight to Unity. If I were to edit this animation and save this, it works in exactly the same way as a as a texture would in Photoshop or a model within Max. It would immediately modify that animation, and then that your new animation would be usable within Unity. These are this comes with the Razor Hydra uh, plugin. Um, I won't be able to post that, I guess. I don't know. Another key thing is that if you want to use IK, this is a really obscure thing in Unity. It's ridiculous. But um, I had a few problems last week because I, I wanted a, um, an inverse kinematics algorithm to work with a game object, which also had some standard animations in this. And nothing was happening for some reason. And I eventually found that it's because this wasn't checked. 
but this is a very obscure, I mean, it, it's not likely that you'd you know, extend that and look in there, because that's the only option in there. So if you're using IK, then I think I've put that in the slides, then I just highlighted that, then that's a really obscure thing, I don't know why. And also, in, on two other computers I've used, it's been kind of, this hasn't expanded properly, so it's expanded to like halfway over there, so you can't even read what it says. Um, so that's quite an obscure thing. Anyway, let's press play and let's see what happens. You can see. I think that's something that's also not in the animation video online. That they, they don't actually mention it. It's just clicked out to get the IK, so. Okay. Maybe I don't it was a glitch. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, that's not working, but let's not worry about that. Um, you can see that it's running an idle animation. So if we're to go into the scene, just the scene view again, we can see that it's running this idle animation. If I had control of this, then I could actually use, I could force the animation to change to different settings uh, to transition within those motion graphs. And that's programmatically all done within this script, this Sixth Sense hand controller, which takes the input from this particular joystick or the keyboard, I guess it would work with, or the mouse, um, and, uh, and kick off the animation and start the transition.